Charlie Gasparino is joining us now. You warned us about problems starting to show up in the muni market, and now we see that muni bond funds had a redemption, meaning outflow of about $12.4 billion this past week alone, Charlie. Looks like people are pulling their money. Yeah, I mean, they are continuing to pull money out of the municipal bond market. The one bright side, I think, of all this is that, I, I listen, I hate predicting the future in the middle of a pandemic. So I'm not, and I'm not giving people investment advice, but munis as a whole, you know, take out very distressed municipalities. They do have buffers in these bonds. So the bonds are starting to trade like they're going to default. But unless there is a major, major, major cataclysm, unless the, the federal government didn't provide any aid to states and municipalities, you know, the widespread defaults at these that the prices right now are reflecting probably won't happen. So what are brokers telling people? Brokers are now telling people, listen, bonds are getting so cheap, particularly the, the non-GO bonds. I mean, they are crashing that, you know, there are good values out there. Now, obviously, you know, this is these are brokers. They're trying to sell something, right? You know that. I know that. Uh, we're in the middle of a falling knife right now, meaning the markets the, and the liquidity. And mis municipal bonds, uh, you know, uh, are, you know, they're not treasury bonds. You know, they're not backed by the full faith and uh, credit of the federal government. That might change. You never know in this environment that the federal government might come in and say, we're just, or the Fed might say, we might, we will backstop any municipality that runs out of, and, you know, runs into a short term cash problem. I mean, that might happen. Uh, but right now, these bond prices are getting pretty cheap given the, the historical uh, default rates. And But again, we are, we are you know, in new, new uncharted territory. I'm sure there's a few smart people out there making the case that, you know, there, are, there could be widespread defaults uh, if, this con if this virus lasts forever. But it's not going to last forever, right? It's going to last for three months. Uh, I mean, you know, a lot of people say that's the sort of out, that's the, the window here. It, it could be a rough three months, very, very, very taxing on municipalities, on the, on the healthcare system, on small yes, businesses. Indeed. But you have to believe it's going to, it's going to, they're going to lead to uh, large scale default. So brokers are saying, you know, look at bargains and they're looking at individual bonds. Um, you know, listen, I just want to say one thing about New York City and New York State. I covered New York City bonds. It's very hard for a New York City general obligation bond to go under. There's, you know, the, the bondholders have the first lien on sales tax revenues. I mean, there are rainy day funds in there. Um, the New York City GOs, you know, give you a little extra yield and they're pretty safe for, for those reasons. Because, and those are mechanisms, Liz, that were put in during the, the, the fiscal crisis of the 1970s. So just, uh, you know, there, there may be some bar bargain hunting here. Again, not a financial analyst. I'm just telling you what I know. Uh, the other story I want to hit on real quickly with you is this insider trading business where a couple of people, including uh, uh, Kelly Loeffler, she's the, the senator from, I believe, Georgia. Uh, she's also the wife of Jeff Sprecher at the New York State, head of the New York Stock Exchange, um, head where of she ICE. sold her yeah. stock. Intercontinental Exchange, the, uh, the parent company. Yeah, which owns the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. Uh, she sold her shares. Uh, apparently, she sold, uh, sold a bunch of stock on behalf of her and her husband uh, well early on and after getting some briefings about the, uh, the spread of the virus that apparently weren't made public. Uh, there's a lot of talk about her and and uh, other Congress people, uh, you know, getting these briefings and selling out. I, I will say this, and I'm going to have a whole uh, analysis on this on FoxBusiness.com coming up shortly. Uh, it may be sleazy. It may violate what's known as the Stock Act. You know, I talked to John Coffey, the great uh, Columbia University law professor. You know, that that's designed to stop Congress people from trading off of information that they uh, that they get while on the job. Although, you know, they they can clearly say they they got this information from other means, including their broker. And I think that's both both what Kelly Loeffler said and some of the other Congress people. Uh, so it might violate that. It might violate some other mm -hmm. government rule. But this, Liz, is not insider trading. Yeah, insider but you know trading what? is ste it, it, stealing it, stealing stuff from the shareholders. Uh, not saying it's a good thing, no, obviously. I know, I know. Far from it. But I'm just telling you it's not insider trading. I'll tell you what it does. It stinks to high heaven that those yeah, representing it's bad. It's bad. their it's, it's constituents bad. hold on, Charlie, that people representing constituents right, have actually safeguarded their own money ahead of letting other people in their state know beyond some of their big donors. Like we know Senator Burr well, I, I, apparently I will say this. done we, that. We don't have all the facts. We, let, let's take a deep breath here. Uh, we should point out that this has been going on for years. Congress people have, make have, it right. have disclosures. I'm not saying it's right. They have, Congress people can invest in stocks. They uh, get in, they get private briefings. Uh, you know, these are senators, congressmen, you name it. You know, you know, the president of the United States. That that could happen. I mean, that has happened. These this is not 
you know, necessarily illegal. It looks bad. I, I get it. You know, I think a bigger problem is not uh, what Kelly Loeffler did with this, uh, with, with selling the stock. My view is if she got a, a, like an early briefing that the that the uh, the virus is worse than what what is being made public, because remember, this was a this was a, a Senate briefing and Dr. Fauci was there uh, and she didn't communicate that to her husband who didn't to who just until the other day is announced the closing of the New York Stock Exchange. That's where this thing gets, in my view, yeah. you, you know, I, I'm not saying it's criminal, but that's that's really bad. Ten if, minutes. If We're ten knew. minutes away from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange shuttering yeah, at least right, right. for a, a few weeks. We don't know more about that. Uh, we don't know more beyond that. But, Charlie, thank you very much.